Um, you know, obviously nobody wants to see a teammate go down, but Marcelino's injury, of course, kind of moves you up into, into, I know you feel like you probably got to fight for it, but yeah. that sort of number one job at Husky, I know that's a position that initially was kind of the one you expected to be playing for most of your career. And then you've moved around a little bit just for different reasons. But as you kind of step back into that both full time and, and now kind of the number one guy, just what do you think you need to do to kind of, I guess, maximize that position for this defense, especially with depth impacted now with Marcelino out? Uh, just, just really knowing the playbook more in depth now, uh, really just knowing where, where my fits are in terms of run fits, because it's, it's very different from, from free safety, from going to free safety to back to Husky. So it's just knowing my, my pass responsibility more than ever, um, knowing that I'm, I'm playing more against the slots versus more the tight ends and to the boundary and being more into the run fit. So it's, it's, it's a lot of different things that I got to do because I have to work on my blitz technique versus at free, I never used to blitz. So it's just just getting different techniques in my arsenal to have, really try to help diverse, like, diversify my game for to better the team, really. All right, John, then Tom. I mean, Zach kind of alluded to it. You never want to see a teammate go down. I mean, how hard was that to see Marcelino kind of go out? And, um, but is there anything that you can take from him as a player? I mean, and just even as a leader as well, just to, to be like him on the field. I know you're obviously different athletes, but, I mean, can you take anything from him? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I didn't even see the play where he got hurt. I was actually celebrating with another teammate. And just when I heard it, I just was – I didn't think that he actually tore anything. Because, you know, when you look at Marcelino, he's, he's a freak of nature. So, it's just uh, – it was it was really like a, a, a shocking moment, you know, just realizing that he's, he's the – most encouraging guy I've ever seen for coming back from injury. He's he was helping me every day, trying to trying to teach me his his techniques and stuff that he knows and his knowledge of the game to help me better my game. So he's just just staying in the playbook and, and him helping me out with my film and my preparation is really been key. Time then, Kevin. Bryant, that uh, Husky position is such a hybrid thing where there's a lot of required of you. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about what it is you enjoy the most about playing that position? Um, you know, just it's it's in space, so you're free. I feel like it's 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 more just free, and you you get the pressure athleticism at that position. And that's I like I like me personally like you play more in space at the, and that's that's what you got to do at Husky. You, you got to play in space, so I feel like that's a a big thing for me. And that's just I feel like that's the best part about it. If I could just follow up one more. Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead. Uh, do you what about uh, the size you play that position at? Uh, you, you happy with where you're at now, or do you need to to do anything more between now and as the season rolls along? Uh, no, I think I'm I'm perfectly comfortable comfortable with my weight. You know, I'm around the 208 to 10 area because um, you know you you still got to have some bulk to to be able to pass rush against the edge on those on those big tackles and and get in a rough fit. But also, you got to stay lean to to be able to guard the slots and and do all those things that's required of either playing deep half or, you know, in the flat. So you just got to maintain that, that perfect balance. Thank you. All right, Kevin, then Peaks. Yeah, Brian, the, the pass rushing aspect of that position, you know, I know Marshall, you know, had a couple of sacks on blitz, blitzes. I think Jamar also had one. Uh, just uh, what has that adjustment been like uh, in terms of uh, coming in on blitzes, disguising blitzes, and, and that aspect of the game that's going to be required of you from that position? Uh, it's definitely different, you know, because I've never really pass rushed ever in my life. Even in high school, I was back in the secondary. So it's definitely just different. Um, working with Coach T. Garden and uh, the D. Lines coach, Coach Black, it just just helping out with the with the hand placement and doing that the pass rush stuff when we do our team circuit is just it's really helping me try to get more in my arsenal and just trying to work with other guys that's on the D line that they may have more of their package because they're used to that and just trying to work with them. All right, Pigs, and then back to Zach. Hey, Brian. Uh, DK Bond almost had to make a you know young guy make an adjustment from Stinger to your spot. What in it, what about him and might might make that work? And and how's he doing so far? Oh uh, well, he actually got moved back to Bull okay. uh, full time. So, but as his as he was there, um, you know, just just helping him is really just knowing the playbook really. Because if you know the playbook and you know what everybody else is doing around you, it makes your job easier. And that's where he was mean mean with Coach T Garden and, and mean to me, just asking me different questions and and stuff that I know, and also having 
you know, ball there with us and just helping, just helping us out to, cause I'm making the same transition almost as he is. I've just been there a little bit longer. So it's, it, there's, so, there's still new concepts to me. So I can't even teach them everything yet that I, I even know. So it's just trying to just help them just to stay confident and, you know, to stay relaxed in that position. All right, Zach, last one, then we'll get Monster going. Uh, Brian, I just wanted to ask, I know you've had older teammates kind of through your career, but you've always been in, it feels like anyway, younger rooms. You know, a lot of you guys played young together and, and kind of grew up together. I'm just curious whether it's the way you guys break down film, the way you communicate on the field, the way maybe you play off each other in, in, in meetings and things, just – are there differences? Can you see kind of, you know, kind of, I don't know if it's growth moments or whatever you want to say within that group of safeties and, and Huskies, all you guys that, you know, you and Monster and Juwan and uh, Jamar, guys that have just played a lot of football together from a young age. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely think it's, it's, it's a lot of growth. Um, when we're out there on the field, we're always talking. Before the play even starts, we're talking to each other, just communicating. Before, within the past, we just run out there, we really just be wide-eyed, you know, just, just trying to do our job. And now we're, we understand the defense and the things that Coach, Coach Womack wants to call as a schematic standpoint, and we just want to just help, like, help better the team. So we, we're talking constantly, and it's, the, the growth is it's night and day, I'm talking about. We, we, we're communicating, like, like – and. At a, at a rate that I've, I've never seen. It's, it's, it's really good that we're doing it. And plus, we have younger guys that's going to be playing this year, too, and, and they're out there communicating and, and getting things done. And I've seen a guy like Tom Juan Mullen. He's in his second year here and has had a phenomenal first year. But he's he's actually one of the more vocal guys in our, in our defense, uh, as it's only been his second year. And, and that just shows the confidence that he's playing with and that, and that everybody that's, that's here that's just playing with.